Hey, what's happening guys? LeBron Games here. In the last video, we conquered the A Soul Divided quest down there in the Ratway. Like I said, it was kind of a short one, and the sword you get from it, yeah, it was pretty sweet. And I think in this one, we're going to go ahead and bang out this other side quest real quick. The Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. First, looks like we got to search the thief's body, so let's go ahead and do that. If I remember correctly, this quest just has a lot of running around. The it looks like the thief's body's over here. Take the note, amethyst, gold, gold ingots, lock picks, some rubies, silver ingot. Looks like we gotta read the thief's note. Okay. The fox told me he wore the cowl to forget himself and start a new life. Yet I'm the one who can't remember. Every time we meet, he's a stranger to me. Or was it a she? It doesn't matter. I spoke his words to a beggar, told her, Shadow hide you. She slipped me a note that confirms my suspicions. The gray fox is dead. And now that I've seen his headstone, I know for a fact his time is over, and the cowl will be passed on. I'm going to be the next one to wear it. And when I do, I'll become so rich I won't need any memories. I'll just buy new ones. Uh, no other pages. All right. So, looks like we got to go find a beggar and speak the passcode. That looks like there's one down there. Beggar's Row. Here we go, here's one. Please, please, I need but a septum. A septum is all I ask, is that so bad? Shadow hide you. Of course. You're here about a job. You don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you're intrigued. It's alright. You don't need to know everything just yet. There's a strong box in Bully's house placed on a dresser next to his bed. Find a way to crack it open. Your instructions for the job are inside. A stranger. Ooh. How mysterious. Alright. Looks like we're going to Bully's house. some flowers if you're looking for a handout you want to speak with my husband if you're looking for company I suppose I could do worse Voli's around somewhere planning to feed the poor with his nonsense about Mara I have a note that implies a thief planted something in your strong box oh now that can't be good Hmm. Let's try this one. It gets better. It's rigged to explode. I can disarm it for you. Thank you. Here, this is for you. You need to leave. You need to leave. Alright, now before she gets mad... You need to leave. Yes, 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 I'm leaving. Alright, what's this next set of instructions? Uh, hang on. You've made it this far, which proves you're ready for the real work. But first, let's go over why you're here. You may have heard the gray fox is dead, it's true, but the fox lives on in the one who wears the cowl. 
This job will tell me if that person is you. Who am I? That's not important. Just a stranger who wants to see the cowl passed on to someone who deserves it. As you might expect, the job won't be easy. It requires fast thinking and fast fingers, but get it done and you'll be worthy of being the next gray fox. Take the forged deed in the strong box, then find a woman named Jisley in solitude. On her should be the real document. You'll relieve her of this burden, then place the fake in Eriker's house. She'll think she misplaced it. When the job is done, find the barrel behind the winking skeever for further instructions. A stranger. Okay, and I believe we have to go all the way up to Solitude for this next part. Yep. Sure looks like it. There's the lady that has the real document we have to steal. Stairs right behind us. Construction on the port east of Jahana has been approved and will begin once the transfer of land is official. The boy's consent should suffice, as the head of the Ice Blade clan has long been absent and the mother has taken ill per your brother's instruction. The deed is enclosed with this letter. Sending the boy to Riften before he's old enough to grasp what happened is a good idea. Not the orphanage, though. It's best he live in comfort, lest he suspect our motives. Still, it's a dangerous gambit, made more complicated should the rightful heir return. Your brother would kill me for saying this, but if you have the chance, it may be worth selling the venture for the right price. This has been more trouble than it's worth. M. All right, so now we either get to persuade or purchase the deed, or simply steal it. Wherever she is, looks like she's still outside. Did she kill her? Small 
Lord, man. Damn it. Hello. Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. I know what your people did in Johanna. It would seem so. The deed's not worth the trouble. I'll dispose of it for you. Nah, I don't think so. All right. Met my dear brother Eric, it would seem so. Fine, I'll just buy it. Gold solves most problems, doesn't it? Damn it. Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire. You're good. For whatever reason, picking her pocket was not an option, so you found another way. Now you need to put those skills to the test and more. In Silver Drift Lair is a tomb that houses an ancient clan. Near a large chest is a corpse with a lantern. Its candle still burning. It holds a key. When you have the key, open the chest and you'll find a sword that can raise the dead. When you find it, bring it to the grave of the Grey Fox in Riften. It's a small, unmarked headstone on the east side of the cemetery. Complete the task, and maybe you'll even get to meet him. A stranger. Okay. So now, where is... Silver Drift Lair? Oh, wow, it's... It's way over here. Dang, where's the closest place? I guess we'll just go to Windhelm. Are you coming? Yep. He landed finally. Damn it. Come on.
All right. He's landing. Gotcha. Oof. Whoa. Had some elven arrows. Yeah, you get to carry the bones and the scales. You lead, I'll follow. All right. On with the task at hand. Oh, we almost got a level up, though. Yeah, but we'll get it here in this dungeon. Assassin again, huh? Man, everyone's just out to get me. Dragons, assassins. Angus Mill. All right, are we almost there? <laughs> Not really. Oh well, just press on. <sighs> now what? There's the level up. Let's unequip our... Just those two, it looks like. Okay. They're all at 140 except magic, so we'll do magic. Let's take this one. All right.
Bronzewater Cave. Looks like there's some dwarven architecture going into the cave. Dwarven pipes or whatever. Oh my god. Oh shit. Scared the crap out of me, bro. Oh, want the tooth. Yeah, we'll take the pelt too, why not? Oh, what do we got there? There you are, Lydia. You know, I could use your help back there. I believe we're almost there. Yeah, it looks like this is it. Yeah, Silver Drift Lair. Good job, Lydia. You actually got him before I did. Alright. Silver Drift Lair. Let's go check it out. Got some dead bandits. That's always a great sign. Okay, what did the instructions say? Something about a lantern? Near a large chest is a corpse with a lantern. Its candle still burning. It holds a key. We have the key open the chest. Okay. where we're supposed to go. Yeah. Door doesn't open from this side. So, yep, this is the way. Uh 
man. All right. Oh, we got some jogger down here. Chest. All right, there we go. Doors barred from the other side. One more. Said you would find a corpse with a lantern that's still burning. Obviously, here's the chest. So, now we're looking for a corpse. Aha, here we go. The Sword of Clan Iceblade. Hey, the boots for the rest of the set. Dwarven Battle Axe, sure. And Dwarven Sword. Well, we've come this far. We might as well clear it out, right? Coins, 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 chest. Eh. Alright, yeah, we need to go all the way down that way, it looks like. So... Yeah, here we go. Alright, so that just took us back to this room. Okay, well at least it's starting to connect.
Pressure plate, pressure plate. Starting to get a little tougher. Keep on going. Anything in there? Nah, it doesn't look like it. All right. Whoa. Almost took me out. A ring. Okay. Another dead bandit. No other ways to go, yep, just straight. Soul gem. Stamina potion. I am actually going to take this shield to complete the armor set when I get back to the house. What do we got here? Eh, thief. Already read it. This looks like the boss room, so let's go ahead and save real quick. Just in case. Well, come on. That's the spirit, Lydia. Oh man, caring too much. Oh yeah, there's an enemy up here. And we learned disarm weapon. Okay, cool. That looks like the way out, obviously. Let's go see if there was anything up here, but 
I don't think so. Empty skeleton. Aha, the master chest. Meridia's beacon. Ooh. Some elven boots of sneaking. Now we're A talking. New hand touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcreath. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Looks like we got the break of dawn. Might actually do that one next, guys. Okay, but we got what we came for, and we even cleared it out. So, back down to Rift and we go. Done well. The Gray Fox. It's an honor to meet you, sir. My joy knows no bounds. Here, a little payment for your troubles. I trust we'll never need to speak of this again to anyone. All right. Well, finished the quest, guys. And I think we're going to end it there. Next time, I think we might actually do the Break of Dawn. Just to complete our first Daedric quest. If you liked the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Also, feel free to comment. Once again, I've been LeBron Games, and I'll see you next time.